So we're at Smokehouse Bay, we've been here for a few days. It's been quite windy, so we haven't really been off much. But today's settled and we're going to go ashore. We've come down to the Haraki Gulf and because our plan is to sail away offshore next year, it's sort of our last opportunity for a while that we can see that we'll be able to go explore the Haraki Gulf. And while we've been to some places, there's just so much more to see. We've been putting together a, a bit of a route around the Haraki Gulf from starting from where we are at Great Barrier Island. And we're really excited about the places that we've identified and the things we can go and see. Some of that we might be able to do with some sailing friends as well, which will add another dimension for us. So yeah, watch the space over the next, um, say, two months, we'll be ticking off these places and going around and enjoying them. Some of these places will be new to us, some of them will be places we've been to but we really like so we're pleased to go back and generally we'll be heading around in a circuit and heading back north to the Bay of Islands where we can get ready to go offshore sailing. If you haven't already remember to subscribe so you can see us sailing these waters for the last time in a little while. So let's go check out Smokehouse Bay. If you're new here, we're Adam and Vicky, a couple of Kiwis who two years ago traded land life for a life afloat and moved aboard Te Taiko, our Chico 40. Along the way, we've learned many things about ourselves and have so far enjoyed the cruising grounds of New Zealand's northern coastline. In the last episode, I shared with you the personal journey I've been going on since moving aboard and finally taking the step to sail past Cape Brett towards Great Barrier Island the start of what would be the shakedown cruise for both Tycho and her crew. Now we shared with you what our summer and future plans are. We hope that you will subscribe and join us as we sail these beautiful waters for what will be the last time in a while. And come along with us as we prepare for our next big step. Now, back to Smokehouse Bay. So we've come ashore to Smokehouse Bay and it's pretty cool and gosh for boaties this is like a real haven. They have manual washing facilities so you can bring your clothes on shore and wash them so you have the water over there and they supply you with some water and you wash your clothes manually and then over here they have the like I don't know what you call it the old rings that you can wrench out all the water. We've got washing lines but behind us so that way we can wash and air our clothes. I mean what else could you really ask for because we all know that washing's the bane of our lives as soon as you've done it <laughs> it starts again and, and on the boat it's quite hard. So we've got that and then if you come with me we'll show you the other more sociable side of Smokehouse Bay. So this is a more sociable side of Smokehouse Bay. There's a cool little swing here which I know Adam's, I'm probably going to find Adam in very shortly. <laughs> enjoying it and we have just over here there's a pizza oven there's a place where you can sit around a campfire and socialize with some friends there's a smoking house just behind us we can smoke fish or meat or whatever it is that you want and then there's also a barbecue area and a shower and a bath so we'll show you all of that how that works but it's just such an amazing place so it's been donated by a family it was the Webster family that have um, kindly donated this piece of land I feel really privileged to be here as I do as we do in most anchorages but for people to get together and create such a special place for people on for boaties to come and enjoy is really cool what do you think Skip? Yeah it's just an amazing thing isn't it it's really nice that someone's put the thought in to provide something communal and look forward to coming ashore and using it. Are you going to burn some pizzas in gonna, there? I probably will burn some pizzas. <laughs> I'll probably stick to the base and then I'll flick them off. Oh, yeah. I wasn't really good like that. <laughs> okay, I can't wait. Yeah. <laughs> this is the barbecue area that I was just mentioning before. We haven't actually used it. We're waiting for our friends to come and join us. Normally I guess Adam and I would use it, but we're always together socialising, so it's probably going to be a bit more special when our friends join us. We can hang around the fire and spin some yarns, some true, some not, probably. We heard a story that there are quite a lot of bronze whaler sharks in here, so I won't be taking a dip anytime soon. And yeah, I mean, it makes sense. It's the habitat, it's open ocean right there, so I mean, 
why wouldn't they be here? It is the habitat. Over here is the shower, shower bath area. So you collect your wood and you use like a sort of fireplace that you just heat up your water and go and have a good shower. So should we go and have a look at what it looks like? Here's the furnace. Feels warm. Someone's obviously used it even though there's probably not enough water. And the bath is over here. So if you feel like a little bit of al fresco wash time, here's the place to do it. And it's got a little shower. And here's the actual washroom. Shower room. Important to note. <laughs> Otherwise you'll get into trouble. So here we go. The shower. Um, yeah, people seem to leave it tidy. Good to see a window. Good lot, lots of veg ventilation. But I mean, gosh, what a place to have a shower in. Yeah, so I'm really impressed with this place. It's got a really positive social vibe to it. So I think what we're going to do is probably sit down and enjoy the scenery and watch that oyster catcher that's sitting on the rock. And then they've thought of everything. Up the hill is the toilet. But yeah, it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous place. They've used the Putakawa, they've got swings and yeah, it's just a really cool place. So if you're ever in Smokehouse Bay or if you ever come to Great Barrier, no doubt you'll come to Smokehouse Bay. I guess we've got that invasive seaweed at the moment, so they've limited where we're allowed to anchor. So Port Fitzroy is it and you can come here. Quite nice. So what do you rate this place? One to five, five being top. That's uh, five. Yeah. It's got to be a five. Definitely, yeah. You know, what's bad about it? Yeah. How's the swing? Noisy. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Comfy? Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Could so when it. our friends arrive, I'll no doubt see you in there with the beer. We could do with one of these on a halyard. <laughs> <laughs> would be a good idea. On passage. Where would you store it? It'd be out all the time. <laughs> so it swings well. Yeah, it does, eh? I'm just sitting here. Do you trust the knot? Yep. You trust the branch? Yep. <laughs> okay. Full trust. <laughs> That's a swing that never stops. So we're going to head to shore again and go for a walk up by Smokehouse Bay. Apparently there's a nice walk you can do up to the ridge line somewhere. But before we go, Adam, we're just cleaning the cockpit floor so it dries by the time we get back. <laughs> That's Adam wasting our water. <laughs> he knows I, I like to keep our water used to a minimum. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Quite therapeutic. Yeah, are you feeling feeling liberal? Liberal because there's a water supply. Nothing a problem anymore. <laughs> okay. Okay. And then we do this. So it gets rid of any excess moisture. Because as soon as we put our foot down, it just leaves a dirty mark. So we're trying everything we can to keep our cockpit tidy. Would you say it's a daily thing almost? Uh, yeah, it should be a daily thing. Yeah. That way. Listen carefully to that sound. That, my friends, is the sound of a New Zealand summer. Crickets. So we've just got to shore and people have lit the fire to have a shower. Here we go.
skipped here. Just did a fresh water rinse on the feet. <laughs> yeah, what are we going to do? We're going to climb up the hill. Yeah. It's Done. really nice, eh? Yeah. Nice morning. Yeah. What do we climb to start with? We've just come up the path just by Smokehouse Bay. So the Smokehouse Bay is just there. Just come up the path. Look at the view. And the water, just incredible. So we're making our way up nicely, up the track and it's just so gorgeous. We're in the bit of the forest now, grey warbler in the background, but look at this, look at all these beautiful, what are these, tree ferns my love? Yeah, these are silver ferns. Silver ferns? Kanuka. Oh yeah? And there's some welding pines to it. Wow, it's just... And with the sound of crickets or cicadas? Cicadas. Summer's here! came across this beautiful little native tree or shrub plant. What's it called Adam? It's an uncinia. Uncinia? Yeah, it's sedge. Sedge. But these are the seeds and they have a little hooks that hook on. Sometimes if you're walking bare feet they'll, I mean bare legs, they'll catch your ears. That's so cool. So pretty. Don't think. What's your thoughts on the walk so far? Oh, it's nice. There's a bit of pig damage. There's lots of, lots of pig damage, isn't there? pigs have been turning over looking for insects and stuff. How do you know that there's pigs that have been around? Because they... For people that don't know. You can tell that they push with their snout into the ground and turn over the um, humus and the topsoil. But also there were pig <laughs> over there, which is a giveaway. Dead giveaway. Chair. There's a tree down on the track. Find okay. your footing. Pine trees come down. All the needles are. Well, the needles are brown, so. Probably in Gabriel. Oh. A couple of kiddo just flew through. Quite low flyers through the forest. Yeah, blowing over. Look, here's the root disc. That's it. Just use that as a stepping stone. Put a pig s. Oh, a bit of pig s. Yep. Did I do that? Yep. Oh, no, you didn't lay it. Oh. But you used it to see. <laughs> so I think we should be clear. <laughs> otherwise, otherwise, a doctor's visit is in order. <laughs> So you're in for a treat because we've got a little tour guide here and if you're interested in ecology you're about to get a dose of it in this episode so I'll put you around to the man who knows. So this is, oops, this is Hakia which is a quite a bad weed in northern New Zealand, Northland and northern parts like this. It's really spiky and quite tolerant of a lot of conditions and um, yeah there's quite a bit of it along this track. Does so, it spread quite easily? Yeah, it spreads really easily. It's got these big seeds. It's a strong kanaka region along the edge of the track. And kanakas really like demanding it responds to disturbance. So obviously there's been a bit of track cutting and kanakas are the first to come away. Looking good. Tell us an interesting fact about Great Barrier. There's never been any possums here. Which is significant because possums are 
predate on birds eggs and browse vegetation and can change the composition of the whole forest so it's one impact that this island hasn't seen and it's the fourth largest island of New Zealand as well so it's quite significant yeah all right onwards we go lots more Kanaka region in the gaps around the gaps have been cleared and filling in with this foliage it's quite nice hey is that one there Tell me. That, yes, that one's Manuka. Okay, that's what I was about to ask you. What, how can people tell the difference um, between Manuka and Kanuka? Manuka always has seeds on it, like that one does. This one? Yeah. Because yeah. the Kanuka seeds are deciduous. And Manuka's rough to the touch, if you go like this. Yeah, it's, it's quite prickly, rough. yeah. If we get some Kanuka side by side, you will notice a difference. So, does this one hold its seeds? Yeah. So, I think like. Yeah, Manuka holds it, see. Uh, and Kanuka is much taller. Um, yeah, there's some reasons. Yeah, copy. So Manuka and Kanuka are quite, um, they support quite high insect values in their canopies. Do they? Yeah, they do. I know. Yeah, quite important. This is another thing to be aware of with Manuka and Kanuka. Kanuka has a creamy coloured flower, and Manuka is snow white when it flowers. So from a distance that's one way to pick them. There's quite a few native bees feeding on the flowers here, it's quite nice. I think we've come as far as we can, I mean I think we can go up but we're not going to see much because there's a whole lot of pine trees there blocking the view and people we spoke to said you can go as far as the honey highs which we're at thoughts on the track first leaving the camp is pretty steep but after that it's pretty slow gradual climb easy just got to watch your footing because there's a lot of roots and stuff sticking out but nice eh? yeah I think so I think it's a nice dimension to Smokehouse Bay yeah. you can have all those little conveniences and a nice safe anchorage and then if you want you can come up for a wander and get some exercise so we're never leaving yeah we've got everything we need <laughs> Yep. And there's a little store in Port Fitzroy. Yeah, and there's a place to buy honey apparently because there's some hives over there. Go get water. We yeah. Do our washing here. Yeah. We're sorted. We're staying. Yeah. Although we did ask people because you know we get sometimes we have a habit of anchoring during adverse weather, and I asked, well, what do we do here? The cyclone comes uncomfortably both laughed and simultaneously they simultaneously. both laughed that was really their response <laughs> so it didn't fire us with confidence so, so think of a cyclone it does yeah, come we'll while be. we're here we'll be heading to Auckland yeah we're running for the hills <laughs> bees don't fly like that well, are they, they blowflies I don't know but they I think I think they're blowflies <laughs> yeah they're I think they're blowflies. They're looking at us, eh? What do I you think? I don't think they're blowflies. I think they're bees. They're yeah. hovering weirdly, aren't they? Yeah. They sound like blowflies. <laughs> that yeah. is weird. I don't know why blowflies would be. Nah, they're not blowflies, are no. they? I think they're bees. They're bees, but it, it's kind of weird. They're big and they're hovering. Yeah. Someone will be able to tell us. Maybe if we go to the honey place, they'd be able to tell us. It's a little bit freaky. It's like we're in a Stephen King novel. Yeah, that's because they're hovering looking at us. And we're standing looking at them. Do you reckon that's what they're doing, looking at us? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't notice it like five minutes ago. Well, we might have just walked straight past. I don't think so. Okay. okay. No. Oh my gosh, there's lots of them actually. I think we need to keep moving. How's it going back there? <laughs> <laughs> That's a little bit freaky. It is a bit Stephen King like, eh? It is. But what we're going to do is because it is their habitat there, we're just going to play it cool. Yeah. 
just cruise along underneath. We're gonna play a call and pretend we didn't see them. Yeah. You know? If worse comes to worse, just duck. Yeah. I'm gonna keep moving. Stop, drop and roll. Stop, drop and roll. I wouldn't want to stop, drop and roll down here. <laughs> I didn't wear any long pants. You're gonna end up with some other issue. <laughs> it's like a hospital visit. And regrets. Yeah. Okay. Just see Tycho down there in the anchorage. Sun's come out a bit. And we're just making our way down. Are you filming that? Yeah. Just doing baby steps. Because it's a bit slippery and steep. What's happening? We're lost. We yeah. over we met a couple that also got lost a couple of days ago and so they kindly tied some yellow line so people wouldn't get lost. Which we noted on the way past. We noted it so on the way back. By. We're not technically lost, we know where to go. We just overshot it. Yeah. So we ignored the yellow line that they put there. So let's just go and find that. We, we're good luck then. Coming back to Smokehouse Bay, having been up the hill. We made it. We, we lost momentarily, but we survived. We stuck, we stuck with it. Yeah. Put our problem solving schools. We found our way back. Yeah. And we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay, eh? Yeah. Now this is the tricky part here, huh? Yeah, it's a bit um, breezy. Yeah. It's a bit bald. Fire's going, so the people are heating up the water in the showers. Yeah, it's getting a good use, isn't it? It is. Someone's got their washing hanging up. Yeah. So hopefully when we come back we'll be able to do that. And then someone's actually, someone's actually using the pile moorings here that are for boats to fix problems to dry them out yeah. to dry them out so the tide's just going out and he's actually tied up he's checking so out pretty fascinating yeah it's all on what else do you need yeah got a boat work watch your foot watch your foot in yeah which way is it boy do you want me to blaze a trail shall I go that way come down that way just use the, use the steps I might just here, okay? Great. So we're just rowing back and the tide has gone out. And this is quite a cool view of Smokehouse Bay because you can see every feature being used. <laughs> hey, yeah. tenders on the beach, someone's using the dry dock there, waiting for the tide to come out, washings hanging up, the smoke is going in the bath for the shower. Every feature seen here. The sun's come out. The sun's okay. come out. It's a beautiful day. Yeah. Yeah. So we're just going to head back to Taiko and we may weigh anchor and just go to a different spot for the night. Our friends are sailing down from the Bay of Islands and they'll come here in a couple of days. So what we're thinking of doing is, because we've been here for a few days now, seen out a bit of a blow the weather's becoming a bit more settled so we're going to weigh anchor and just go around the corner to a little bay for tonight and then tomorrow we're going to go to Port Fitzroy and then we'll come back Saturday after Port Fitzroy we'll come back here and wait for our friends to join us so that's the plan for for now but it's an absolutely stunning day and all the red flowers are starting to come out. Have a look. Pahutakawa. Yeah, what do you think so far of your time here? It's nice now that the weather's settling. Yeah. But it's lovely. It's a real privilege to be able to come out here. Yeah. And like just going ashore then was a lot of fun. And also it's a bit of a meeting point. So we've met, met more people than we probably would normally in an anchorage. That's true. Is that yeah, that is true. It's a very cool place. So we'll probably, when our friends come, spend a bit more time at Smokehouse Bay. But then we'll see what the future holds. So we're just going to uh, leave Smokehouse Bay for a few days, and because of the there's an invasive seaweed, uh, cupola, I think it's called. So we're just going to wash our anchor chain and anchor thoroughly with our deck wash. So I'm going to do that right now.
think it's really nice here and the weather's really starting to settle eh? yeah and the sun is out it's shining and we're gonna chill out now go yeah. look at stingray soon but we'll end the video here what do you think thanks for following please keep yeah. following <laughs> yeah, I think we'll end the video here so thanks for watching and if you haven't yet please subscribe it helps us out heaps we try and release a video every fortnight but otherwise when we can so feel free to like share the video and comment and we'll respond but thanks again and we'll see you next time see you, see you. So go and have a look going up now to the toilets would want to have a few too many and try and make your way up here. But treacherous. So I'm just gonna get down here. Ah, oh, goodness me. Gosh, it's not um, the easiest, is it? Probably not a good idea that I came down here. To be honest, and jandals. Oh, wee. That was an adventure. I made it down safely in case anyone was concerned. Look at that, is that my new cliff for Ow! And I'm just doing my toes. <laughs> Did you not feel anything soft and crunchy? No, it's panic. Panic. As you. Lifted your body weight. Yeah, that's good.